Hi class, it's me, Mrs. Medina. I know you can't see me, but I'm here. So today I have a cake pan and I have some sprinkles. So as much as I would love to make a cake, I'm actually going to show you some letter formation. So if you have a plate, sprinkles, sand, sugar even works perfectly then I would suggest that you try this at home. So, padres, hoy les voy a enseñar cómo formar las letras en inglés y también las letras pueden servir para español. So, si tienen un plato o como yo estoy usando esto para hacer bizcocho, pues, um, usted puede usarlo también. Pero la azúcar, harina, masa, um, esto que pone encima de los bizcochos o pasteles también funciona muy bien para que los niños pueden escribir letras, ¿ok? Ok. So, let's begin. There are two ways to make this sound. So, who remembers what we do in our sand tray? Good job. We put a line down the middle. The first sound is k, k. C says k. K says k. Excellent job. Remember, shake your tray. The next sound is v. Th, like this. T H says the. Don't forget the squiggly lines underneath, okay? Because they're best friends. They stay together. Two letters, one sound. The next sound. Ah. Ah. O says ah. Excellent job. Shake your tray or poop. The next sound is n, n, n. Like no thank you. N says n. There you go. The next sound is D, D, D. D says D. The next sound is Y, Y, like yellow. Y says Y. The next sound is like hat. H says hat. Can you see it? Good job. The next sound is, oh, there are actually two ways to make this sound. So what do we do? That's right, we put a line down the middle. The next sound is w, w. W says w. W, H says w. So this one's a little hard to see because I'm low on space. Okay, good job. The next sound is b, b. B says B. So remember, when we write B, first it's the baseball bat, then the ball. B, B. The next sound is E. E. E says E. The next sound is a, like apple. A 
says, ah, excellent. Don't make the tail too long because then it becomes a new letter. A says, ah. The next sound is, eh, eh, like an itchy nose. I says eh. I says eh. Good job. The next sound is t t t t. T says t t. Excellent. The next sound is g, g, like green means go, g, g. G says g, g. Let me try to find the good. Good job. The next sound is sh. S H says shh. Now, why did I put those squiggly lines underneath? Does anyone remember what this is called? Yes, they're best friends and they like to be together. A digraph. Excellent. This is called a digraph. And we call it a digraph because we have two letters. One sound. Excellent job. The next sound is p, p, p. Like, p, 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 please. May I have a p, p, pony? P says p. Let me do that again. There we go. P says p. The next sound is mmm, mmm, like my mom makes the best pupusas, mmm, mmm, M says mmm. The next sound is ch, ch, like chocolate or cherry, C, H says Don't forget, whenever we write a digraph in our sand tray, or in my case, my sprinkle tray, we have to draw the squiggly lines. Two letters, one sound. Wonderful. The next sound is s, s, like a slithery snake. S says Wonderful. Our next sound is like, did Frankie get the frog? F says, great job. Next sound is uh, uh. Like, can we go upstairs? You says, uh. You says, uh. Excellent. The next sound is r, r, r. Not er, but r. R says r. Like robot or rabbit. Or the color red. R, R says R. The next sound is J, 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 J. J says J, like John Carlos or Jennifer or Jair. J, J. Our last sound, you have been wonderful. 
The last sound is ooh. Ooh. L says ooh. Like in like. <laughs> All right, so wonderful job, boys and girls. I really hope you try this at home. Again, I'm using a cake pan. Let me see if I can make it smaller. Okay. Yo estoy usando una bandeja de bizcocho o pasteles, dependiendo de dónde son ustedes y quién lo llama. Um, y estoy usando azúcar. Okay, azúcar para decorar bizcochos. So I'm using sprinkles, or it's actually sugar, to decorate cupcakes and cakes. Um, but you can use anything, really. You can use sprinkles, sugar, flour. If you have masa, like cornmeal, that works great too. Okay, boys and girls? Si tienen arena de jugar, excelente. Pero esto lo va a ayudar a los niños a formar sus letras. Bien. Y para recordar las letras. Y también si quieren pueden practicar palabras rojas en inglés. O palabras frecuentes en español. Ok. So give this a try. It's a lot of fun. And when you're done... Put it in a baggie or in a cup. That way you can use it later, okay? So, good job, everyone. I'm super proud of you. You are all my shining stars. Till next time. Bye.